There are three key changes to disability benefits this year. This is what they are and how they impact you. Every year, the Social Security Administration, SSA for short, increases the value of its benefits based on how much inflation and other factors have increased the cost of living. This cost of living adjustment, known as COLA for short, will mean higher benefits and higher income limits for everyone who already receives SSDI, SSI, Social Security Retirement Benefits, Early Retirement Benefits, and VA Disability Benefits. The 2024 COLA is 3.2%. And according to the SSA, it will increase average monthly disability benefits by more than $50. This update is automatic. You don't need to do anything to get it. The next change has to do with substantial gainful activity or SGA. This refers to the maximum monthly salary that can be earned by people who qualify for social security disability benefits. So for 2024, the limit for SGA is increasing to $1,550 per month which is up from $1,470 in 2023. Blind disability recipients have a 2024 SGA of $2,590 per month, which is up from $2,460 in 2023. These higher limits mean that you can earn more during the year without losing your benefits. However, earning close to that limit could catch the attention of the SSA. A lawyer can help advise you on that. The third change is that there's a higher work credit limit for 2024. SSDI applicants must earn a certain number of work credits to be technically eligible for benefits. Earning a credit means having a certain amount of income that you paid taxes on. So to earn one work credit in 2024, you will need to earn and pay taxes on $1,730 of income, including self-employment and gig work income. The higher work credits amount will mean you need to earn more in order to qualify for SSDI. So qualifying for SSDI requires you to have at least 40 credits. 10 years of work, with at least 20 of those credits earned within the last 10 calendar years. So a good rule of thumb is someone who has worked for at least five of the past 10 years is likely to qualify for SSDI benefits. It's important to note that none of this impacts your SSI resource limits if that's the right program for you. To qualify for SSI, you can have a max of $2,000 in assets as an individual or $3,000 for a couple. Now that excludes your house, your land, first car, and a few other big things. This is staying the same in 2024, and it does not increase by 3.2%. We know the numbers get complicated. One of our client advocates will be happy to help you navigate this process in 2024. So get started with Atticus today by clicking the link below.